Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to create a new business card from scratch. So let's get started. First let's go and create a new document with this resolution 375 by 225 inches with resolution of 300 pixels per inch and hit create. Then let's go and bring up our guide layout and hit OK as you remember from the previous lesson and there we have it. Let's go and pick up a pen tool. I will go click once there, also up there, down there and maybe this and I will get this. OK. I don't need stroke, I will just type zero up there and there we have it, we have our red color. Make sure up there is a shape, not the path, then shape. Once you click shape you will get the same results like I. So I will change color of this object and I will go to something like this. Great, this is nice. Now let's go and continue. I will pick now something like line tool and I will go from this spot to this one. Okay, I will change a color to something like this, this red and close it. We can choose the size of this one when you type up there maybe we can try with 50 let's go and try as you can see it's really huge we don't need this one and i just wanted to show you so let's continue then let's go and create a new layer then let's pick up gradient tool and we can try with something like this if you like it this color, this gray and something like this, almost the same, hit OK. I will go this one from the left to the right, let's try it. Move this layer below to have priority and let's go and go from up there to there to see results. I like this more, this is nice and I need one more thing up here and I will go and create a new. Let's go with 400 by 400, hit create, fill it with white, then unlock this one, right click on it, go to blending options and I will choose stroke, not outside, then pick inside. I will choose something like let's just say 12 pixels and hit OK. Then I will go to edit and define pattern. Let's call it cube or something. Let's call it example. And hit OK. Then we can close this one no we don't need it then right click on this one go to blending options then as you can see go to pattern overlay and let's go and find our this is it and let's scale it to a something like maybe two okay i don't want 100% I need blending mode something different we can try it we can go with multiply with something like 30 or even 20 25 let's try 25 this is maybe too much or is enough let's go with 20 I think this is nice and hit ok and there we have it our effect so let's continue. Now let's go and pick a move tool 
I want to add some drop shadow on this shape, on this red. Let's go right click on it, go to blending options, then pick drop shadow, maybe size a little bit more larger, distance, and this is fine. We got cool effect. Okay, let's go and bring up some icons. We go down there, pick custom shape tool, then let's go and find our icons. Let's just say we need the bell, the telephone, excuse me, and let's go and create one. There we have it. This looks nice. Now let's go and create a new. We can go with, I think, mail we need. There we have it. Icon for our mail. Okay, this is fine. And I think we need for our website. There we have it. Again, let's go. I'm just holding left click on my mouse and shift to get the proper size. Okay, once I release, I got this one. I will pick move to center it. And there we have it. Now let's go and bring some text. Let's type up here. This font is huge. Let's try with 60. I will type something like Okay, this is maybe too much. Let's try with 50. This, this looks better. Let's move it a little bit. Great. Now let's go and type some email. Let's just say example. Gmail. Okay. And let's go with our phone number. I will type something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, and move it. There we have it. And one more thing, I will type up here something like graphic designer or something like that. Okay, I will go this one, make it to be bold and let's try black color to see. This is nice. Maybe I will go with 60 or even try 72. Okay, I think this is nice. And we can bring up our name or something like that. I will type my name. Great. I will move this one to a regular and make it black or make it, yeah, make it black. And bring up down there. And we just created our front page. Let's go and group it up. And this is our text. We can call this group text. Great. This is our icons, I think. Yeah, those are icons. Call this group icons. And there we have it. Excuse me, I need to move this one too inside. And Select all of those, 
make it a group and call it front page. There we have it. Now let's go and create the back. I will close this one and I will fill this with the same with the same color like we just did with the previous one and from this time I will go from the center and bring up something like this to get this effect maybe a little bit more to spread out this color as you can see this is nice and now let's go right click on it go to blending options pick pattern overlay and let's go and hit OK. There we have it. Now I will go pick rectangular tool and I will go from down there, bring up something like this and there we have it. I will fill this one. I don't need actually to fill this one. OK. And this is too much, 150. Let's go with 10, I think. This is nice. Let's go and change color to a red. And there we have it. I will hit Control T for free transform. Get it just a little bit smaller because those are edges of our business card and we want this one a little bit smaller. Hit OK and there we have it. And because this is the back of our business card, okay, and let's go and bring up our logo. We'll pick move tool and bring it up. I will use again my logo. If you need, you can create a logo for your client or stuff like that. But I will stick with this one. I will again bring this. This is too much. And there we have it. I will zoom in. Let's go right click on this one. Go to blending options and I can rename or change color of this one. Let's try with that, but I don't need this white. If you want to edit this one, just double click on it and I will pick this one. Again, double click on this and you can edit it. Let's try with that. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay, this is fine. There we have it. I, I think I will add drop shadow. This is too much. Let's bring it up back and hit OK. OK, now let's go to our text and select it. Let's go. When I click up here on this, we get eyedropper tool. If I click on this color, it will automatically change color of our selection. And I will hit OK. Maybe I will add drop shadow like this one. Let's go try it. There we have it. This is nice. Maybe we can change an angle and hit OK. And there we have it. We just created our back for our second business card. We can also try to edit some drop shadow of this one. Let's go ahead and try it. This is maybe too much or whatever you like but I will cancel it. I don't need this one. I just want to show you the possibility and I will select those four and make it to a one group and call it back page. And there we have it. This is our back page and this is the front page of our business card. So this is everything for me in this video. I hope you like it and if you got any questions, please feel free to ask me and see you in the next video. Bye.